Tony here and I'm back with another list of those top side quest games, those undiscovered gems that haven't received the attention they deserve but are well worth checking out. If you haven't seen part 1 and part 2 of this series, do check out the links in the description below and hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be kept up to date with the latest and support the channel. Now these games you're seeing here are just honorary mentions, those games that just didn't quite make the list but are still well worth checking out if you have the time. Now although it says top 10 in the title, there are actually 12 games in this video. There are two latecomers that I just simply had to add when I saw them appear in SideQuest. So I hope you enjoy this list, let's get started. The first game we'll take a look at you have to pay $4.99 US dollars for and it's well worth the price because you get the early access version of the game about an hour or two hours of gameplay plus you get the full release version for free when it comes out. This game is called The Fear Within. It's an escape room game and what an escape room is is a series of puzzles set inside a room that you have to solve in order to escape that room. There's a horror theme throughout this game and you'll come into contact with classic horror writers like Bram Stoker and Edgar Allan Poe. The puzzles here are quite challenging. It will take you about one or two hours to complete. And to get the most out of this game, I recommend casting it to the TV, getting some family and friends over and trying to solve these puzzles together. It's great as a single player experience, but if you can play this with family and friends, I highly recommend it. Next, we take a look at another puzzle game called Cubeful. Now this game you can download for free. It's a block puzzle game. Much like Tetris, you have to assemble the blocks into neat stacks. But unlike Tetris, it's three dimensional and that extra dimension just makes it that much more challenging to try to arrange the blocks into neat combinations. And when you do successfully complete a layer of blocks without any gaps, then that layer disappears, you earn points, and you get multipliers for streaks. And if the stack gets too high, then it's game over. The next game we'll take a look at is a cross between a puzzle game and a platformer. Cactus Cowboy Portal is free to download, as it sees you playing as Cactus Cowboy once again in a new adventure. You get cactus napped, imprisoned and need to escape from the cacti labs. In order to do this you have a gun at your disposal. Now this gun opens up portals for you to escape from the various puzzles, traps and obstacles in your way. Now if this game concept seems very familiar then you're probably thinking of Valve's Portal series which this game was inspired by. Now be warned it has no comfort options which will be a major drawback for some of you but it features a full chip tune soundtrack and 17 labs filled with puzzles and obstacles that you need to use your portal gun in order to try to escape from and this should offer you a few hours of challenging but fun gameplay. Now we move away from the puzzle games and look at a shooting action game. This game shooting arena it was a no brainer really when it came to including it on this list. You do have to sign up in order to play but it's all free and well worth it. When you begin you're presented with a few maps to choose from. When you go into a map you also have three difficulty levels. Depending on the difficulty level you choose you can earn more stars and it's essentially like a VR shooting range with challenges so if you think Crisis Brigade was like the VR version of Time Crisis I liken this to the VR version of Point Blank. So speed and accuracy are essential in this game. Every time you do miss a target, you lose a life, and when your lives get to zero, you have to restart the level. Complete stages to earn stars, earn stars to unlock new stages. It's that simple. But it's one of those games that's very easy to pick up and play and very difficult to master. You'll find yourself coming back to this one time and time again to try to beat those stages on the harder difficulty levels. I really enjoyed this one. Make sure you check it out. On to our next game, Kingdom of Blades. Now this will set you back 5.99 US dollars but there is a demo that you can play so you can try before you buy. This game is an arcade sword game. In the demo you don't get access to the challenge mode and you only get access to one chapter in the story mode. 
Each chapter consists of a series of stages ending in a boss fight. There are five chapters to complete overall and the game is very similar to Fruit Ninja. You have to slash your way through a series of enemies that come at you and earn points by doing so. You also receive power ups to help you along the way and when complete all those points get tallied up. You earn a rating in terms of stars and you earn some coins. These coins you can then purchase hammers and with these hammers you can then crack these eggs which will reveal certain prizes. Prizes which include these single handed and two handed weapons that you can use to fight your enemies and bring a bit of variety to the game. The full game also includes a challenge mode and in this challenge mode there's a boss mode which is fairly self explanatory you fight a series of bosses and last as long as you can to get the highest score and there's endless mode which again is fairly straightforward try to survive as long as you can earn as many points as possible to work your way up the leaderboard. This game is a lot of fun there's plenty to get stuck into and it's well worth the price. Now this next game has been criminally overlooked. It's under a thousand downloads, yet it deserves so much more. Beach Bar VR is an arcade game where you keep your patrons happy by serving them drinks. The more drinks you serve, the more money you earn, but be quick as there's a time limit. The drinks you need to serve range from simple beers to more complex mixers like gin and tonics, whiskey and cola, even creating complex cocktails and it soon gets messy and out of control as you try to make all these different combinations in the time limit. This one's challenging, a whole lot of fun and a great party game to play with others. Now speaking of party games, our next game Octoraid is a multiplayer cross-platform game. This game supports up to 5 players who all have to be connected to the same Wi-Fi network. One person plays as the octopus while the others play as hunters. You can have up to four people playing as hunters and their job is to take out the octopus. You see in the top left is the hunter's health bar and in the top right is the health bar of the octopus. You can play as a hunter either using a mobile device like you see here or via PC VR. Whereas the octopus you can play via PC VR or using your Oculus Quest headset. To win as the octopus you need to take out all of the hunters before they take you out. I found this game to be such an enjoyable multiplayer experience. It provided lots of laughs and hours of entertainment. Now this game Last Outer Dustin is an RPG. It currently has under a thousand downloads and it places you in this beautiful open world that you get to explore. You start the game having arrived in a small village via a train and get speaking to some of the locals who will provide you with quests and they also provide you with the tools needed to complete those quests. You also have an inventory system and you can use the items that you collect to build certain structures. Currently the game consists of just the prologue which will take you about 20 minutes to complete but the author has plans to regularly update and expand on this with a full story already written and more locations in the works. I honestly can't wait to see the updates to this game. The quest definitely needs more games like this. Next we move on to a simulation game Harvest VR set inside this simple but beautiful countryside type environment you play the role of a farmer so in order to grow the plants you need to make money you go into your tool shed grab your shovel and dig up the land then you use your hoe to till it before you grab your seeds plant and water them in order to then collect your produce and sell them for some cold hard cash once you've made a bit of money you can head into the village where you can go to the seed shop to buy some new seeds for you to plant or how about getting some new tools from the tool store to help you better manage the land or even furnish your house with new items and if you want to kill some time you can always go and practice your archery skills or try your hand at fishing. I got quite absorbed into this game I found it to be very relaxing and there's a lot to get stuck into. 
now on to another simulation game, Survivor Man The Descent. Now in this game you start out inside a Black Hawk helicopter and this helicopter runs into trouble and you eventually crash land in this snowy sort of mountainous type environment. Your job is to make sure you don't get too cold and succumb to hypothermia and so you have survival expert Les Stroud to help you along the way. So in this game Les shows you how to make a fire and your job is to essentially scavenge the mountainside, scavenge the crash site to try and find items you can use to make that fire. But there's not much room for error as you have to be quick because your body temperature is rapidly falling. This game features some of the most stunning visuals I have ever seen on the quest and it offers some unique challenging and fun gameplay that might only last you about 20 minutes or so but I really enjoyed the unique experience of trying to survive this harsh winter environment in VR and the authors also have a lot more content planned for this one. On our list we have the emulator Game Boy, which is a Game Boy Color emulator. Now it lets you play Game Boy and Game Boy Color ROMs on this realistic looking 3D Game Boy model inside this 360 degree image of what appears to be someone's apartment. Now this emulator features plenty of options such as being able to switch the hand you have the Game Boy in, increasing and decreasing the size of the Game Boy. Also you can change the colors, switch on and off a backlight and most importantly of all control the games using your Oculus Quest controller so no need to link a Bluetooth controller to play this although you can if you want to. It's just a very good emulation experience. The Game Boy Color model looks very realistic, there's plenty of options to play with and it worked well with all the ROMs that I tried so I highly recommend it. Now we have a late arrival to the list. I was almost finished with this video when I saw this game appear in SideQuest and just had to include it. So this game is an online multiplayer first person shooter. You can also play cross play with PC players too. It features a ton of different weapons and weapon modifications and you can also adjust your loadout for your character. Once done you can practice with these weapons on the target range. And these weapons are realistic and just really fun to handle. So this game is similar in some ways to Pavlov, although unlike Pavlov, this game seems to be more realistic, whereas Pavlov is a bit more arcade-like. And as much as I like playing Pavlov, this one is probably my favourite online shooter. That's about it from me. Are there any SideQuest games that you think need to be added to this list? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.